again, on these types of problems, we're trying to figure out what we know from the diagram, uh, determine whether the triangles are congruent, explain why or why not, and then if they are congruent, we're going to make uh, our triangle congruent statement. And what we know in problem number 10 is that angle B is congruent to angle F. We know that CB is congruent to EF. And then we also know that AB is congruent to ED. But if you're looking real close at that, when we identified AB, A did not have a tick mark on the angle and B did. But when we look over here for E and D, neither one of those had a tick mark for an angle. So what that means here is even though we've got three pieces of information that are congruent, these two, two, these two triangles are not congruent because our pieces of the triangle do not correspond. And so we're not going to have a triangle congruent statement. But as we look at problem 11, we've got a bunch of information. And let's just start with angle B is congruent to angle E. Angle a is congruent to angle D. So I started with one tick mark. That's why I started with angle B and E. Then A and D have two tick marks. And angle C and angle F have three tick marks. But then we're also given these sides here. So AB is congruent to DE. Be careful because that order is important. So I did A which had two tick marks and B which had one. So when I list, listed over here, D had two tick marks and E had one. Same idea when we do our two tick marks here. I'll do AC is congruent. So we did two and three. So D, F, to match them up, because order is important. And then finally, with the three tick marks, we can say B, C is congruent to, um, let's see, B, C, one and three, so E, F. And we seem to have all of the corresponding parts of the triangles are congruent. And we've got lots of reasons. We can say side, side, side. Because we've got the three sides in this triangle congruent to the three sides in this one. We can say side, angle, side. Side, angle, side side, angle, side. We could say angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. Or we could even say angle, angle, side. Where we've got two angles and a non-included side. So we could say angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. And then to finish here for our triangle congruence, we can say triangle, again, A, B, C. Talk to your geometry teacher if it's not Mrs. Danhoff because everybody uh, does this a little bit differently. But A, B, C, A has two tick marks and D has two tick marks. B has one tick mark. 
E has one tick mark and C has three tick marks and F has three tick marks. Don't forget like I did to put your triangle in front of it.